That's what you tend to see. And Broodmother, she can push, but she doesn't yep. have, you know. Well, she's a, got the invis, though. Okay, but it's a static invis. You have to be in a web. So you know, yep. it, even though you're invisible, they know where you are. That makes sense. Yep. All right, so we're actually live for game number two, or excuse me, game number three now. Um, we're going to see a Wisp and a Bat Rider ban, or a Bat Rider and Arrow Titan, excuse me. Yep. So those are the band, first bands from the last game. Yep. Um, this is the third game in a best of three for all the marbles. Winner goes on to the semifinals or the finals? Well, let me pull up the handy-dandy little bracket. I'm glad you asked. Uh, the winner will go to the quarterfinals. Ten seconds remaining. So yes, the winner of this will play the winner of Chip's team, No Right Turn, versus something I don't remaining. recognize. I didn't see this team before. Um, it should be exciting. So we'll fade back to the game now. Uh, we see nothing happening yet. They're going to reserve time for their second ban. They're going to ban OD. No one likes to see OD. Never fun to play against, ever. Ban. Surprised they're not banning out Warlock. Um, Baitmasters does have a uh, second pick, so they may ban out the Warlock here, but I'd also expect them to be at least concerned about a Weaver. Um, Team Ozone may be remaining. hoping the Warlock gets through and they can first pick him. Yeah, but I mean, Five if they first pick the Warlock, remaining. that leaves Baitmasters open to pick up like a Dark Seer, maybe, or, yep. you know. They've some... got a lot of good options. Yeah. Um, obviously, it is still the start of the draft. Coddle PL. Oh, please no. Wisp CK. Yep. Do get the Weaver ban. Um, so, pick. two respect bans coming out from Baitmasters. They're actually more concerned about the stand in block. <laughs> Called it. Radiant Warlock. What a hero. Are they going to go Rubik here? Are they going to go like uh, Darkseer Rubik? Arthur Dane did get some good steals. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, Rubik isn't that. Radiant it's not a first pick, pick hero. It's a yeah. third and fourth pick, usually. Are they going to get the CK to combo, or are they going to go back to the Sven Wisp um, that was so effective for them last time? The Sven Wisp worked very well. But, remember, Sven Wisp worked well because they were able to set up Sven in those team fights. I think yeah. that... I would expect them not to go Sven here. Maybe they'll go CK, who knows, and try to play a global strat. But o Ozone has, for the last two games, been a very grouped-up five-man five team. So it's hard to play game. something like a Wisp CK against that. That's kind of how Alliance realized you can beat Wisp. Was they were like, oh, we'll just group up and win. There's a Rubik. So. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I think you're right in saying that he's not a first-round pick unless you're not at the pro level, and it's like, well... And now he can steal Wall, so he has two great things to steal. Wall's kind of hard, but... CK ban immediately. Are we going to see a Tiny? Ah, uh, so Cynical Brit brought up a very good point in chat. Um... I looked at the bracket, and it's actually, this is the semifinals, because um, the finals is just a spot for the team, not an actual final okay. game. So my mistake, this is the semifinals, and Chip's team actually won. So it's going to be no right turn versus the winner of this game for, Ten seconds remaining. let me pull up the bracket again, Five seconds for, the, um, for a spot in the finals. Wow. So these time. are. This is important. That's why we saw both teams force the other team to really start hammering on the uh, throne before Yo. calling GG. Yep. These games are important. Radiant they don't want to give up ban. anything they don't have to. So we see the timber ban out. We see the visage ban out. Um, so Ozone, not really scared of anything that goes with the Wisp except the CK, apparently. <laughs> And then Baitmasters, scared of the Visage still. I mean, that was a strong hero. Yep. Five I think it's a good remaining. ban. Um, I think you're going to see... I don't know what they're going to ban here. They... <laughs> Gyrocopter. Okay, so they they remember game one, and they don't want to do that again. Pick. Yeah. Well, that's interesting, because I, 
I don't feel like Gyrocopter, aside from the Rocket Barrage early on, was even that scary of a no. hero. So they could go, well, do you think they're going to pick up their carry now? Or do you think they're going to pick up something else? They could pick up a Tiny, they could pick up an Alk, they could pick up you know, a R- lot of Ricky. things. Holding out hope for the Ricky. The Ricky. I don't think uh, you're going to get a Ricky. So Darkseer is going to be going up against the Trialine that has the Wisp and whatever carry Five they pick, probably remaining. with the Rubik. So they may want something that combos Reserve well time. against the Darkseer. Yes. But Frankly, the only thing that does that is the Weaver, in my opinion. Alk is definitely good, um, so you can stun him up, Acid Spray, get another stun from the IO, Tether, and pick up Lift, uh, or pick up Drop Down from the Rubik. Even with the Surge, you can get a kill there, but it's tough. I'm going to pull up this bracket again and take a look, because I think I'm taking crazy pills here. I think you got it wrong last time, but I can't see it except on a two-second or a two-minute delay also. Oh. Um, Where are you, Bracket? I just opened you. Oh, not not Adobe. There we go. Um, so the winner of this game will go into the semifinals. This is the quarterfinals. So I was right. This is the quarterfinals. They do pick up the spin again um, to combo with the IO. It'd be interesting if they can do a repeat. So, um, my prediction, if I'm going to make a prediction, is that Sven is not going to have the same time because they're missing the Warlock. I think that's the thing that made Sven so far powerful in those mid-game team fights. Remaining. I, yeah. Five seconds remaining. So what is P. Diddy going to play? Is he going to play a normal hero this time? Reserve time. I don't know. What are some other weird heroes that he could try to put mid that could have a big impact? He already tried the Death I mean, Prophet. no one's banned any of the traditional mid heroes this game, which is kind of interesting. You saw game one, no, Ozone literally true. banned against Diddy. They banned out the Batrider and the OD. Those are very traditional mid heroes. You're right. I'm, I'm just trying to say, remember game one where Ozone was like, we're going to ban out those two, and then we're going to ban out Queen of Pain, and then we're going to ban out yep. Storm. Yep. Like... So we see the Lifestealer. This is a great pickup. Um, Ozone is going with a very... I don't want to call it super traditional, but they're just like, we're just going to win with heroes. Yeah. Like, there, there's no fancy strat here. There's no, like, oh, we're going to relocate around and then steal stuff. It's like, no, we're going to click Q as Lifestealer and then just right-click you. And then Darkseer is going to just wall, and we're just going to win. Failure to communicate. Remaining. Failure. Five seconds remaining. Alrighty. Uh, I'm really interested to see what Baitmasters goes as their mid here. Time. Invoker. No, don't go Invoker. That'd be a terrible Wind decision. At your Windrunner going for the offlane, most Dial likely. We do pick. see Dindy play a solo mid Windrunner occasionally, but I think more like than not, it's going to be offlane. Yeah, I mean, I think she would do very well in the offlane. Um, shackles are great. People are getting better at dodging shackles. Yep. So Team Ozone doesn't have any stuns for their trial lane next. It's just uh, slow and some damage. Now they are going to have a stun from the Nyx Assassin, most likely. Yeah, I expect expect both teams to pick up a mid-hero here. Um, Yeah, so I like the Windrunner as the offlaner here. Ten seconds remaining. Her wind run completely negates the life sealers, both damage Five and open wounds. So, you should have a pretty safe time. Yep. Reserve time. Just double checking my stream is on delay because people are responding so quickly in chat. I can't tell if they're actually listening to me live or not, but they're not, which is good. Because <laughs> then I would be in big trouble. Well, I mean, you would have time to correct, because fortunately... Well, the last um, two games. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That would, you would probably get yelled at. Oh, yes. I would yell at myself for that. So, Queen of Pain banned out. I expect to see... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to predict. Who knows? But, uh, 
strong team from Team Ozone right now. Uh, Bay Master is a little more remaining. finesse team, I want to call it. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. I am going to go ahead and predict a Magnus mid. <laughs> I mean, it would be good out of Baymasters if they could pull it off, but they don't know. Who, they need to figure out who they're facing. I mean, Mag was gonna just lose even a Shadow Fiend, which you saw first game. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of heroes, and it's unfortunate for Radiant Baymasters that they have to blindly pick into whatever Team Ozone is going to pick. Yeah. So we see the silencer ban. This is a good ban because if you can silence before Wallach gets his ult off, you can try to sneak out a win or at least a few kills in that team fight before you get just dominated. Yeah. So we nearly saw remaining. silences save the day in a team fight near the Roche pit, Five I believe in remaining. game one. Um, but they just could not take down the Warlock before he was able to get his yep. ult off. Troll. So we got the troll mid. That is a great pickup, because now Sven does not have to go Mask of Madness. I like that pick That's a lot. True. I... Interesting. I'm just caught off guard by this decision. I like it. Remaining. Like I said. Night nice Stalker. Okay. Wait, Trectus is playing Night Stalker as a support? I, I don't know. I mean, I think he is the captain. He's clearly a good player. They may be deciding to mix things up a little bit. Project Leet's on the Warlock. Jay is on the Nyx. Jay is on the Lifestealer. Yeah, they're just... They're just mixing it up. up who plays what. Yeah, Jorah's going to play. Or, or they're pulling the old, we're going to pick things, then swap. I... Certainly possible. Uh huh. So did Baitmasters. P Diddy's on the Sven, and Locks on the Troll. Arthur Dane is not going to play Rubik this time. It's going to be Big At. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Yeah. Five I'm... seconds remaining. Okay. <laughs> this is. This can't be right. Are they going to? Okay. Well, no, so I think on the Baitmasters side, it's mostly unsurprising. So Arthur Dane played the Wisp. He also played the Rubik. Prepare for um, battle. That's true. Depending on which game it was. P. Diddy's a little off guard for me. So they are sending Locke mid. They are definitely going to play Locke as the troll mid. And they're going to play Diddy bottom as the carry. So we have a, ca yep. a carrying captain, which is very difficult, I'll tell you. It's hard to like look around the map and make calls while getting every last hit. But <laughs> I will say one thing. That if they had last hit issues game one with uh, their carry, they're not going to have last hit issues this game. Well, I mean, they had last hit issues the first game because he couldn't get to the lane. Yeah, that's true. So Chaz bringing up a good point. Cynical Brit says troll me troll mid leaves a shitty lane somewhere else. Um, I don't think that's a good point. I don't think that's I, true. Oh, it's a point that I want to address. I don't think that's true. I mean, you have the Windrunner off lane who's just gonna. I mean, she's not gonna die. Is the point, which is that's yeah. what you do with an off laner. I don't love Windrunner off lane as much as like a Darkseer or something, but it's not bad. Um, and you can get some more actual physical damage in the mid game. Uh, and Rubik. Wisp is not a super strong tri lane, but it's good. I mean, pick up into Wisp Tether stun into Sven stun. That's, you know, three stuns. So. Yeah, against the Darkseer, it's really good. Um, against the. If they. The so 03 has gone an offensive tri lane both games so far, correct? Yes. They're, they love the offensive tri lane, is what they do. So, I don't know what's going to happen here we do have um the standard looking lanes coming out from bm so far 
The one thing about 03 is, yet again, four melees. So they're going to have issues in yeah. this tri lane where they're not able to zone out. Yeah. Um, although it's only going to be two mele melees in the tri lane, but it's still a very valid point. Yeah, I mean... I almost want to say that... I don't know. I almost want to say that the early lanes almost favor bait masters it's going to be pretty even both these are very good picks um but that night stalker if they don't shut him down mid and troll's not going to shut him down um you're going to have a bad time so anyways the, oh, look at p diddy's mask have you seen that sven mask ever hold on yeah i have that you have that mask i have it's a crappy a sven mask. mask it's what it's common Oh, it's so much cooler than the rare one. No, did he I, turn towards us? Turn towards us. <laughs> I like that Sven kit. I have a better sword, though. Uh, big AT bringing up the Rubik. So they're putting him on the Rubik instead of Arthur Day, and Arthur Day is going to play the Wisp. Both these guys have been pretty solid supports, so this should be a pretty favorable tri lane as far as uh, player skills. We got Locke playing mid. He had some issues last inning game one, but game two, he played very well as the Sven. Uh, game three, he's going to be up against Trektus, the captain, as the Night Stalker. So at, both teams switching up their lanes. Night Stalker is going to be Trektus. Uh, Blind Wraith, Wrath, Wrath is going to be off laning. Tri lane is going to be Jora. The carry last time is going to be on Nyx Assassin as the support. Leet's going to be the support uh, Warlock. And Jay is going to be the carry. And here we go. Let's get it done. The mid walk is actually in his melee mode. Don't think he's going to be leaving that anytime soon. He's just going to be trying to bring the pain against Trektus. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Big AT harassing down Blind Wrath a little bit. So they go defensive try the, for the first time. This is going to be a yep. defensive try lane from 03. Lots of changes coming out from them for this last matchup. I guess they don't like how things went last game and are really hoping to shift stuff. You want to talk about a cool item set? Look at this Nyx Assassin. Ah. Oh, that is pretty. Uh, Windrunner's in trouble. Nah. She hasn't even leveled anything up yet. She's saving um, to get Windrun until she absolutely has to. So Locke is doing a great job of keeping Trektus in trouble. And he might be able to... Oh, he might be able to get a kill here. He might be able to get first oh. blood. I'm going to miss it because I just like... Oh. No. Me and scrolling, man. Wheel is hard. I know. I know. Almost gets Trektus, but he is doing well in this lane. I've never oh, seen a troll versus Night Stalker lane before, so. He did he taken a lot of damage from these ion shells. That's the tough part of being a melee hero against a dark seer. Yeah, but he's winning in last hits. Shocker. <laughs> Top lane is uncontested. Oh, they're doing the Windrunner fancy schmancy little uh, Navi thing here. Mm. <laughs> right, well, I know how I feel about this. I disagree with it. Yeah. Me too, but... Yep. It's cute. It's a cutesy little cute. thing. Nope, Trektus is going to get the rune. He's going to put some hurt on Locke, but they're going to be able to rotate the Windrunner in if they want, and they might be able to shackle him to an image. But Locke's taking a lot of damage from these images. Yeah. Not a lot. But... Just burned his uh, bottle charge. Yeah. Oh, she didn't. She doesn't have shackle. I mean, she's, she's only level two. Yeah, but she's going to be able to zone out Trek Tus here. This is actually this is the one advantage to having Windrunner there is she, you can just if if the lane ever starts to push out and you're having issues, you just. First ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> so it's two of the three first bloods. I don't want to talk about it. Games that we have missed. Um, I think all of them have been in the off lane. Actually. Yeah. Radiance top tower is under attack. 
Meanwhile, they're going to get early pressure on this tower. I expect it to go down pretty quickly. But honestly, it's not that bad of a thing to lose your tower early. Yeah, it gives a big uh, gold boost. It's definitely a disadvantage, but um, Windrunner is going to be able to actually get gold here. She would not get much gold top. Yep. And this actually screws up Jay's farming a little bit, unless he's really good Radiant's at lane control. Yeah. Like, black attack. levels of good. Yeah. And... I mean, fortunately, he has the feast, so he's going to be able to go into the jungle pretty successfully. Blind Wrath is too far out. He's going to get picked up. Nope. Oh, just out of range. Big AT was trying to wait until the surge to pick him up. Locke doing solid in the mid lane. 23 last hits for Sven. What the hell? This guy can last hit. Jeez. Oh, I missed one. He missed one. Oh no. Nah. Trekchu's taking a lot of damage again. Walk. Bring in the deeps. Trekchu says. N oh. It was on the bottle. Okay. Or on the uh, courier. So they're sending Winter on her top now. Um, she's going to try to. Oh, he's going to get a haste on Trekchu. So this is unfortunate. So he he's going to try to go unlock here. Yeah, yep. he's going to go unlock, and it's going to be a problem. Nope, he could have just turned around and killed him there, I really think. Well, so the tough part is the troll whirling axes. Blind rat. Oh, great play by Io. I got that one. Bottom tower Using his wisps to kill. Yeah. Two kills on the off lane. I don't think P. Diddy was in range for the experience, though. That's. Thanks, I mean, it's you. not bad, but it's not great. Anyways, as I was saying, Locke, um, the tough part with him is his Whirling Axes gives you a 60% mischance. Ah. Trektus can't really hit him after he gets axed. Hey, guess who's leading in last hits? Um, is it the Wisp? No, close though. Oh, because I mean, I remember watching a game the other day where that Radiant's happened. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. I just, I figured that was the new meta. Yeah. No. I can tell you who has zero last hits and zero denies. <laughs> Poor Nyx Assassin. Yeah. And, you know, it is a pretty level and item dependent right. hero if you really want to make the most of them. Midas coming out on the Nyx here. They... I mean, you know why I like this is because his lane's out of control now, so... Oh, they didn't get the tower, so it's not out of control. Um, but, you know, he thinks he can outfarm Sven. I like Sven better as a late game carry. Trektus is rotating down with an Invisirun. Um, he might be able to make something happen, but they know he's missing mid. I'm sure they've said something because they're hugging the tower now. I mean, yeah, they're going to play this smart. Um, Diddy's thinking about going out. He uses the stun to try to get some last hits. I don't know about that. Oh, he's in trouble. Quiet's magic. Mistakes. They should have been more careful. They're going to die for big AT? No, they're not. So Sven goes down there. So Ozone has shown an incredible ability to take out the enemy's hard carry early on. Yes. Well, and Baymaster isn't even challenging the lane. Um, but this game, they're getting plenty of last hits on their Sven. It's not going to matter, but... Um, if he keeps dying, but it's still, you know, not, it's still going their way, I think. Their, their mid is farming better, uh, Locke has more last hits than Trektus, so. Yeah, um, but. Yeah, he, he gets um, his phase boots, which is nice. Jay, that is his name, is, um, got the hand of Midas, and that's a scary item. Yeah. That is just a scary Watch that gold item. graph swing. Windrunner, they pinged on her, so they know what she's doing. She's just sitting there. Uh, he is... Oh, she's up to level 3, almost level 4. She should go into this lane now, though. I mean, there's no reason yeah. to... You're, you're, they're so far pushed out that it's safe to hang out here. Yeah, this is a very ballsy position from Jay here. Yeah. Like, no he fear. And in fairness, like... He can rage up, and the only 
thing that they can do is try to chase after him with a Sven um, Warcry and then try to stun him up after he goes out of rage. Trek 2 is out of position. Oh, mistake made. We get Whoa. the slow. Where's the Sven? The Sven? If the Sven jumps in here, he well, gets a bash. Nice, That's it. He's down. Dat RNG for the win. Sven's going to run in and try to get Blind Wrath. He's going to get a stun. Gets a stun. A few right clicks. Tether. Urges up. They're going to dive. Nope, they're not. Oh, Arthur Day makes a mistake. Goes down. It's scary as a wisp to go in there because you any ta wisp. tower I go in, you're dead. Yep. I feel like if Jora and Ozone does go on to the next round, they have to obligate Jora to play at least one more game as a Knicks because this set is just too freaking cool. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet set. Uh, Lifesteal are catching up to uh, Sven and last hits, surpassing him. Finally, um, they're thinking about going in on Trek Two. So it looks like they TP'd in. No, they have three mid. They're, they're they need to get farming on this Sven. I mean, the incredible thing about the Sven is he's died once. He's actually had a moderately contested lane, and he's still basically even with the snakes, who's completely uncontested. And he has a Midas too. They're gonna go mid. Trek Two says wants to go, but Jor is there to. Oh, he gets... What's he steal? He steals Spike. He steals Spike, so he gets a stun here. Gets a stun out. Trektus is in trouble. Trektus is dead. Warlock does not have his ult up yet. This is the time. Make it happen. I'll return the favor. Dyer's structures are fortified. And Diddy's farming. Shocker. This guy... Meanwhile, Nate or girl. Has pushed up so far, like, I don't understand why. Yeah, they need to punish him. this. They can kill him. Like, kill him. I think they're rotating in to try to do Radiant's it now. Top tower is He's going top down. Top. He knows I they're rotating. They have the ward up. Move, no. Good choice by Nyx. They have five mid now. Uh, Diddy buys his boots up. I shouldn't call him Diddy. I'm going to get sued for, like, uh, trademark misuse. Holy cleave attack. <laughs> he is not in a great position right now. There's no one here. He sees everyone mid, right? So he knows. Right, but a solid vacuum plus a surge ion shell. They see Trek 2, so they know that he's rotating down. Uh, Diddy needs to be careful. He's not paying attention. Oh, oh. shit. Midas up on the spin also. Yeah, he should be dead here, though. Right now, does come out. Not going to be in fast enough, though, I don't think. They might pick up Shrek 2, but they paid for it. Um, he no, though, creeps are under the tower. They do have him trapped, though. They, could, they should be able to get him here. He's trapped by the creeps. No, he gets out. He face boots. They're going to go on Big AT, but he has a stun. He has a Fable, too, if he wants. A slight mistake by P. Diddy. Uh, they should have seen O3 rotating down and been a little more careful. But he gets his Midas proc off. And his farm's going to be ridiculous this game. What's he have on the courier? He has to have something on the courier. Oh, he just died. Never mind. He has nothing. Jara is staying mid, waiting for a kill. He's going to sneak up and get a stun on Diddy, I think. Nope. They should see him there. I think that's within range of the tower. Rotation in by Locke. He is deep. And he alone. No he is dead. Huh. Yeah. So Windrunner is farming. We haven't seen much of her. We saw our mid for that one fight. And yet again, ki uh, uh, kills are even. Take a quick look at the gold and XP graph. XP favoring goes down by fifteen hundred. Gold by a thousand. So really not big leads at all. No. Um, One team fight turns that around. A couple minutes of sustained farm turns that around. 
though i mean this once again goes to show these teams are very evenly matched yeah arthur dane gets his relocate up like they Radiance both have the middle tower and weaknesses but denied what a play that is, the, has been that is the ballsiest deny i have seen all day and we already had an amazing one from a warlock earlier. yeah that's a great deny um they might be able to get blind wrath here pick up did he cast surge he didn't actually cast it oh because he's stunned oh no oh no oh no oh no oh yes he gets away um, just out of curiosity, can you check and see if anybody is spectating in Dota TV? I don't know how to do that. Um, there's an eyeball icon next to the it's X. It's not doing anything. Room. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me either. It used to work. So at least it's not just me. Well, I don't have the caster button either, or the, the... I'm going to take out the Trek 2's Night Stalker. Um, Jay does clean up though. He did his lag behind in last hits. He's been too active on the map. Uh, rocks are up, I believe, for lead. Yep, rocks are up. And AT's here to steal, though. He's ready. Team fight's about to happen. We got 3v3 bottom. Jor's moving in with the Nyx. Under Nidity cover of Vendetta. Their spidey senses are tingling. Diddy's going to rotate to this camp. This camp has got him killed before. Might get him killed again. No, but instead, Jor's going to back out. Vendetta runs off. Top lane, we have Locke going top now, which I think is smart. He can get some good farm here. He versus Jay. I mean, Jay won a Midas, so he's not doing, you know, as much damage as his wealth would suggest. We have a relocate. First relocate of the game. They're going to try to get Jay. He's way out. They're going to need a lucky bash or a thrown axe. Is he able to throw his axes? Gets the throw. Nyx is there. Oh, the great shackle. Nyx is going to pay for it. Wonderful shackle. Wow. Great follow-up stun. Great everything. That was an amazing play, I would say. Oh, yes. Bottom might go down here. They're going to rotate him with C's Blind Wrath. They're going to... Oh, he's in trouble. The tether? Oh, that would have been the best tether. Yeah. Oh, the lift. He's in trouble. What's he steal? He steals Surge. That's a big steal. Rocks are down to save him. That is a waste of a rock, in my opinion. Oh, Ooh, no, but Trektus is rotating in, so I, I, I eat my words. Is he going to be able to tether out? Four seconds. Three, two, one. Tether? Yep. Get Not going to... Nope, does not get out. <laughs> it's close. Armlet is up now on the Nakes. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Roll working his way towards a Shadow Blade, I believe, with Claymore in his stash. Radiant's Finn is on his way fallen. to a BKB. It looks like he's got the Overclub. Um, Trektus is not sure what he's Dyer's headed for next. Tower. Probably, I would assume, a BKB. But nothing bought yet, so hard to say. Warlock. It's time to run away. Quite a ways away from his Ag Scepter. Meanwhile, Locke is getting beat down by Jay. Um, oh, Trektus is there. Yep. That O3 rotation, they're always there, man. They should take out this stack while they're here. Why not? Um, I mean, well, with Nyx, they could do it. It would be hard, but they could do it. Baitmaster slips twice in a few... Slight missteps, just out a little too far. Didn't have the whole team there. Arthur Dane's out. He better not get caught. He gets. He's going to be able to tether out, though. Rocks are not up, so... Oh, they're going to get lead here. They do get him. Sven does some damage. They get a pickup on on uh, Jay. They might be able to get him. They're going to get Jay here. That's big. What's he steal? He steals uh, open wounds, right? Yes. Yeah. That is the spell you want to steal, but honestly, nothing you can get from Nyx is that great. No. Trek 2's farming top. You know what you don't want to steal? Darkness. Yeah. Someday I dream of a... But I'll let this team fight play out first. Gets a shackle. Great play there from our Kill. Day. Secured. Great shackle from Donkey Punch. Anyways, uh, oh, Rubik goes down mid. 
Very aggressive positioning. Not really sure what he was doing there. Um, anyways, I have a dream someday of a Rubik stealing the Dragonite ultimate, infest, and then stealing the Nakes ultimate, and infesting into somebody and then popping out as a dragon. <laughs> that would be pretty Dyer's awesome. Tower is under attack. Well, can a you man. steal infest? Because wouldn't you be stealing the uninfest, or are those the same spells? Oh, I believe that you... Yeah, you can steal infest. I have seen an infested Dyer's Rubik before. Top tower has Keep you up by lock. Very smart. Uh, Donkey Punch is going to run away, which is what you do as a Windrunner. You run away. P. Diddy's farming. He is farming, neck farming, and farming. Neck with the life um, their net worth, life neck and neck, by twenty-five gold. Yeah, neck and neck. Again, 10, 19 minutes in, golden exp graphs, dead even, dead even. Wow. So, these teams, I would almost go so far as to say, perfectly matched. Yeah, I, these guys are. Even even on kills, even on gold, yep. even on XP, even on last hits, almost. Yeah, I mean, so, both teams have a unique Dyer's style, I would say, which attack. makes it all the more interesting that they're still basically even. Well, it's interesting because uh, Baymasters definitely plays the. They like active active supports. They're playing things like Rubik and Wisp all the time. Yeah. Um, and O3 has this, this we're going to pick strong things and group up strategy. We're going to play aggressive tri-lanes, we're going to pick strong heroes, we're going to play as five, we're going to just blow you up and not get caught out of position. Yeah. And they, both teams are good at it. Yeah. Both of the stand-in too, I might add, so. Yeah, very fortunate. So, first game there was a lot of, uh, not drama, but tension around uh -oh. if... Hold on. Masters could find a stand in on time. Or yes. Bait Masters 03. So Donkey Punch is caught out. He's going to get stunned. Uh, Big AT is going to go down. Uh, Donkey Punch should also go down. Even on the backside. They're going to try to get Trek 2s here. The stun goes out, lands, they need some bashes. They get a bash. Oh, the rocks are going to save him. Nope, he still goes down. Diddy's going to pay for it, though. And Arthur Dane's going to be able to get out. Um, Surge on Jay. Shackle does not latch him to anything. Two down. Uh, and that's going to be the end of Donkey Punch. Nope, nope, yep. That burn. Tower's going to go down as well. Full shadow blooded away, looking to possibly come back in. Not quite sure why. I guess he's just going to run away. Yeah. Which I think is the right play. I like Shadow Blade here because they're going to be able to get in and see a fight before they actually have to engage. Yeah. Also, I mean, Radiance the ideal Radiance situation Radiance is he stun locks down a project lead. Yeah. Like, that's the ideal. So there's lanes to farm. I, 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 I think they're probably going to send... Well, I don't know if they're going to go in and challenge this team fight. He's going to try to take down Project Lead. Oh, he's going to get stunned. Does he have... He, four seconds. It is? Nope, dead. Diddy's going to go. Diddy's going to try to get a kill. Two, he steals wall. Great steal. Uh, Diddy's got to speed up. Oh, this might be it for Chuck Deuce. They need to get kills here. No one's, they aren't able to get anyone. There's a stun. There it goes. Trek is going to go. Nobody going down yet, though. Warcry comes in, finishes them off. The rest of the team's going to limp home, but... Honestly, that was the best that O3 could have hoped for in that situation. They almost yep. lost three heroes. Yep. Basher up on Jay. They're going to infest into Nyx, and here we go. He doesn't have Vendetta up, though. P Diddy's got his BKB now. He's gonna farm up some damage items, I think. We'll see what he we'll see what he goes for. I don't really know. Oh, here comes the Nyx. The Nyx bomb on Diddy. He does not have a stun. Nope, goes down. This is where you start to see the annoyance of the Nyx comboed with the Life Stealer. They have the Basher up on Life Stealer. 
they don't have the sentries down to prevent this. They're not doing the strategy of just blanketing the sentries. They're just saying, we'll play careful and stay close. And so far, it hasn't worked out for them. The four or five minutes ago, um, Spin and Nix were ne neck and neck. Now, Nix has pulled ahead a little bit on net worth with a thousand extra gold. Yep. But it's not much. Like, it's a quarter of an item at this stage of the game. Yeah, it's close. I mean, Sven's still leading yep. in last hits, but that just goes to show you die, it doesn't matter. Roll actually, I would say borderline lackluster on the item and farm front for what you would want out of him. They have this stack, though. If they can take it out, there's no stack on the dire side, so I think they want to get Sven in here to kill this. I think that both teams want to force this issue. Another wasted ward, miscommunication. They dropped two sentries. Sven's going to go in. Here goes the, the stack as it just melts. And not caught up in net worth yet, but still pretty good. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and funny. he closes the gap. Well, he, he cleaved and killed three creeps. One creep was about to die, and he had his Midas off cooldown, so he ended up getting the whole wave. Hmm. Very nice. Flying Llama again. Nyx is in Viz. Are they going to be able to infest? They can infest. But they have the sentries down now. They know. Now they're prepared. O3 is grouping up, getting ready to push. P. Diddy is farming. And TPing back. If Big AT can make those big plays again, he needs to. He stole wall last time, which is great. I'd like to see him steal some stuns. He needs to be able to lock these guys down. Um, if he could get the Nyx Impale, it would be awesome. If he gets the rocks, I think they have the advantage for a fight. So we see a uh, block of the Ancient Camps now coming out of 03. They know that if they keep that stack up, Sven is going to get big fast. Yeah. And he does go Mask of Madness, so there you go. Sven does go Mask of Madness. He really likes that item. Yeah. Well, it's two different guys, right? Oh, yeah. It's true. Last one was played by Locke. This time it's P. Diddy. Yep. You really? Uh, both teams kind of just... Farming, not doing much. Oh, relocate coming in on Trek 2. Not, nope. Going to be able to get not going to happen, guys. It's nighttime. The they need to retreat now because the other team is about to come in and just blow them up. Ha! <laughs> nice tether. Nice there. Question is, is Locke going to get out? Oh, yes! Amazing what a shackle. shackle Two great shackles from Windrunner. Big AT is dead. Yep, there's no way around it. He's been getting caught out, and Arthur I'm not out. really sure it's his fault. It just kind of sucks. Yeah, Arthur Dane is still farming. I mean, he needs to be a little worried. They're pinging on him to come back. They're going to lose mid-tower, though. I think he's decided he just wants to get the, uh, get the gold. Shackle, rocks go down. What's Rubik's dead. They can't steal anything. Back, not able to get Sven. Sven needs to run. Oh no, that's four dead. He buys back though. Don't see a full team wipe, but that was rough. Yeah, his BKB is on cooldown. It's not good. He bought back, but didn't do anything, which is not great. So what's he steal? He steals Ion Shell. Not the greatest thing. Not a wall, but. Can't get it right every time. Game's still not over, but you start to see the kills swing in favor of 03. These team fights, again, just aren't quite going the way of Baitmasters. We're going to see a Rosh attempt, I think. Jay's preparing. Locke is farming. They see O3 right there. They see Jorah. They have to know the, the Rosh is happening, but they can't really do anything about it. 
Lock. No. Okay, he's in biz. Big AT's out. He's in trouble. Mistake. You shouldn't be that far out without your team there. So, if they lose him, they're definitely not going to be able to contest this. What? That... Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Oh, oh holy God. shit! <laughs> what? What? So Sven does some damage? Why? Did you just see? Holy... He needs to kill someone. Pick, pick one of them. Oh, this could be bad. Sven needs to... Nah, he, he needed to pick there, but that was huge. I don't understand. He got close enough in that cleave and that ult. But... Okay, that was, that was either a wonderful setup by Locke or just pure pure foolishness that ended up working out. I can't I, tell. I don't know. Sven has a Daedalus now and <laughs> the Aegis. Oh, mama. Push a fucking tier three, guys. Just straight up the mid. Yeah, I think so too. I don't even know what else you do. Winner has got her mech up. They've got plenty of They've got their heals. They've got massive DPS. They got a Rubik with mana who can steal something if he doesn't run out in the front again. Um, and Locke has. Is he going? What is he going with his map? Is he going uh, uh, Satanic first? Or is he going Mask of Madness too? That would be kind of silly. Or is he going. Uh, he could be going Vlad's for the armor. Look at this ward coverage, by the way. Wards everywhere. They're really trying to get that wisp up top. They actually dropped the wall for it. Oh, wow. I didn't even see it. Yeah. Um, so we tried to back him down off the high ground. Tried to wall him up to mess with him. All to put a wood there. Um, not really sure who came out on top. Because they know... Sven came out on top. Put a ward up, so they should be warded soon. Sven's got DD... Holy cow. Look at this damage. Yep. Be careful. Oh no. The rocks are down. Sven's dead. Well, he's got an Aegis. Holy shit. His team's backing though. His team needs to stay. He left it. Um, Abyssal up on Jay. That's huge. His team should have stayed there. They could have turned yep. that. Yep. Big AT is in trouble. Oh no. Oh, they get a bash on Trektus though. Shackle this time hits nothing. Block can't go invisible. He's got his wand charges. He hits him, but he's going to die. Great spike, Carabas from Jora. Vax in. They might be able to get Arthur Dane here. In fact, oh, he wonderful tether out. He's still going to go down to Trektus though. No, a lift is able to save him. Throws him back. Uh, Wrath is deep, but he has his support of Jora there. Shackles him up, but he's going to go down. What's he steal? He steals Spike. That's what he needs. Good Spike to save him. They're going to get out. Thank you. Good support play there from everybody. So it's 25-16 at 32 minutes in. Both of these teams have solid late game. Um, Experience is heavily in favor of 03 right now. 10,000. Gold is not... I mean, five, almost 5,000 is pretty significant. Like, at that point, that's significant. Yep. Rubik's trying to complete a four staff here. That'll be very helpful. The positioning of these fights could be better for BM. So, yeah. They need Sven not to get... If they hadn't lost their Sven there, they, they'd still... It I'd still say they were competitive. Yeah coming in and he is all alone this he's going to back out safely okay he's their damage i mean they have to yep. 
probably initiate with troll and then let Sven just walk in with a BKB and hit things. Yeah. So it's an awkward balance they need right now. They need PD by himself to get the farm they need and to have the space. Yeah, he's well, also not he saving also for a buyback. And he doesn't have the easy survivability of a Nyx or a Nyx in this case. Basically. A Nyx or a Nyx, yes. I mean, Troll has the invis and that's good, but it's not great. Did I hit a button that made all the camps actually appear as camps and not as triangles? I don't know. Maybe I did. Hmm. This is going to be a little bit passive right now. The Rosh yeah. isn't up. Um, no stacks, which I think is a slight mistake on the on the dire side. Uh, they saw a lock, but he's just going to run away. Because he saw Nakes go down. Nakes bomb. Yep. They're preparing, but... I Honestly, they could pay for this if they come in right here. They're in. The ward's going to spot out Diddy if they if they were looking, but I don't think they were. And this fight favors BM if they can get in here with only three, only four heroes, four v five. They have their uh, Trek Two's top. Yeah, if they can catch Project Lead out here, I think this is huge. That's a big He's going to turn and rock. You do not want to get rocked. Oh, no. He dodges the... No, he does not. He's going to go down. Wall's down, but Project Lead goes down before he can cast. Diddy gets up and melts Jorah. Jay's going to go down here on the back, too. He's just... He. I don't I don't see him getting out of this. There, he's done. Great play there from uh, Baitmasters really turning it around. They might be able to take this tower through the back door. Yeah, with Sven they can. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. And the gold's gonna swing up a little bit, XP up a little bit. Not a lot, but Diddy's getting close to finishing his Daedalus. He's he's sitting with Hand of Midas off a of cooldown, which is a mistake. They're gonna relocate on Trektus. I think he saw them though. Definitely saw them now. The Trek 2 is headed towards a Assault Curus. Um, P. Diddy getting left below top. I He can beat okay Trek 2 in a 1v1, so he may as well stay there to farm. Yep. Uh, Locke going to come in, try to initiate on Trek 2's here. Dalos finished on Sven. They're, they're going. Things coming out. Directus knows they're coming. TP's out. Gonna make it. Yes. First hit bash. First hit bash. Always a possibility. Again with the DD Holy on shit. Diddy. Wipes out one creep wave and one hit. 890 crit. Yeah. This is. This is a farmed and deadly Sven. Four staff up from Rubik. I think that item's going to be big for him. I mean, mobility as a Rubik is extremely important. They're setting up for a team fight up here. I don't know if Baitmasters is not in position for this. No, Locke is in position, but nobody Dyer's else is, is, which is a great recipe for disaster. There's a um, Nakes bomb, bomb ready on Jorah. If Locke gets caught out by the Nakes bomb, that's really bad. Yeah, but he's not. He's going to run back. He's going to stay here, though. He's going to make a mistake. He's well, gonna... it's not yet. Jor's ready. He will destroy. The Nakes Bomb will just melt Locke. Yeah. And Locke the... needs to pop his invis sooner. Nope, he's backed out far enough. And a Dagon is up on Nyx now. Level 1, but... So last hits... <laughs> Again... P. Diddy just has a lot of them. And net worth, he's leading. Um, yeah, but by a lot less than you would think based on the last hits. Well, it's, yes, and that's true. And it's interesting, if you look, he and Nakes are pretty even. And then uh, Troll and Nightstalker are also both pretty even. So yep. both of the damage dealers... I mean, you have, of course, the Darkseer with just a ton because he's Darkseer. Yeah. Um, um, so if you look, P. Diddy, 6-6... Six and six. Yay, 12 and 4. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's... That's, that's the story of the game right now, honestly. Yeah. 
And yet... Roche is up in 30 seconds. Um, it looks like Dyer's going to go straight into it when he spawns. Yeah, they should. And... So, yeah. Um, Radiant has an idea about this. Whether they're going to do anything about it, it's hard to say. But they see people. Yep. They're getting in position, I think. Rush is up uh, and two. Closer. Um, well, no. Nah, 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 nah. Seems like indecisiveness right here. By both teams, I would yeah. say. Sven's got 3,500 gold, so he has a buyback. Yeah. Um, I think O3 wants BM to enter the pit, but I don't think BM's going to do it. Or both teams are going to back out, I think. Both teams are pinging like, yep, we see you. What I'd like to do, what I'd like to see right now, you could take Arthur Dane and P. Diddy, go farm somewhere else, and then TP in when you need to. Yeah. I mean, you can. You have the advantage as a Wisp here. You can go, uh, yeah, they're in their jungle. This is why it's kind of nice. Everyone says that uh, Rosh is better for the Dire, and it's right, but... When you're in this waiting game position, you have all these creeps to farm with your carries. Radiance top tower is under attack. And they need to get in position right now. I think that O3 is about to enter, and they do enter. Radiance top tower has fallen. This is really unfortunate for bait masters. They just backed out just too soon. Yep. And they're going to lose it. And they don't even have an idea. Midas on Sven is off of cooldown. He's probably going to TP top here. They're going to lose Roche, so you may as well get this massive wave. No, but no TP coming. Has they need to turn around and run, and that's exactly what they're doing. Nope, they are thinking of taking the fight. Well, they might actually get Warlock here. He gets oh. the BKB off. He's just going to smash away. There goes Warlock. He's dead, but he does get his ult off. Meanwhile, two down for Baitmasters. Three down, Locke goes down. Four down, P. Diddy goes down, and Arthur Dane's going to go down as well. I don't know why they thought they could take that fight. Buyback from Sven. He's just going to go farm. But uncharacteristic mistake from Baitmasters. So mid, we see three pushing. Four? Three? Just three right now. Uh, Jay's in the back. It's amazing the level of farm that Jay's been able to yeah. obtain during this. Diddy TP's back. Um, they might be able to get the mid, at least the tower here. Um, they don't have their troll up, which is a big source of their secondary DPS. Big IT needs some big steals. Oh yeah, but Sven can just melt waves. I think we're going to see... Nope, they are going to back out after the tower. Are going to get initiated on or not? Sven's content to let them walk away. So the tier 3 goes down. Not a big deal. Like, not what you want, but... Without a rax down, it's not really an issue. You lose the vision for Nyx Assassin. Which That's is kind of a pain. Damage. Um... But your your weight your lanes are going to stay even on their own. Um, the pressure that comes out from having a rax down is really the issue. We see a ghost scepter come up on Arthur Dane. This is good. He needs that. Um, smoke up. They're going to smoke his five, and they're just going to try to kill something. I think this is a hundred percent necessary. Relocate. Um, stun. They get a stun on Jay. How did that was confusing? Oh, oh man! Holy crap! Trick two does some damage, and that unfortunately is might be the dagger for BM. They're not in a good position. They would. I think. I think. They've got troll, and they've got a spin. But they I think it, it was a mistake for them to smoke and try to rotate in and then say, no, 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 we're going to try to relocate because they didn't know where O3 was there. I mean, and obviously O3 was ready for it because they always are. They're a team that doesn't split up and doesn't get caught out. They've got a second of the blade up. 
on the dire side. I think that Finn's never going to be able to move. Yep, they need more damage or more items at least coming out of uh, Troll at this point. We're going to see the second tower go down here. Yeah. We're going to see Shackle, unfortunately, does not latch. Rocks go down. Locks in trouble. Jay is actually attacking the tower, though. Back down. He's able to force that out. Still going to be the end. Uh, Big AT is in trouble. <laughs> One hit down. Trectus going to get the uh, Aegis popped, but that's okay. Lock goes down as well. Joris has to back out, but it's not going to matter. They get two sets of racks here and full team wipe. Sven's back by himself. Radiant's top barracks has fallen. Sven! He's going to try to kill Tractus, and he's going to die. Oh no, he gets one, two. And that's the power of Sven I was talking about. It's also the power of the Sven illusion. Yes. Still really bad, but... Sven's got 2,000 gold and a basher now. That's something. So, again, if you look at last hits, he does so well on last hits, but he just got caught out a few times. A um, few, few too many deaths. You look at kills to death, 17 and 5 on the Nakes versus 9 and 8 on the Sven. So, that's a lot of extra gold and not losing gold for Nakes. They might just... Yeah, they're just going to push the middle here. The rocks are down, right? 70 seconds of rocks being down, so this is the time. Aegis is down. They're gonna push mid. They gotta go through two towers to get this set of rocks. So attack. much time, even with the hard thing staying like that. Yeah, but you ha I mean, this is what you have to do. Yeah. And they're doing Absolutely. it. And they could win. This could go their way. Yep. Walls down. Nope, walls up, I lied. Rocks are up in 40 seconds. In they go. In pops the Wall goes up. Back into it. Big AT. There's going to be a Nakes bomb that comes out of that. Locks in trouble. He's hitting away, but he's going to go down here. He goes down to the Trectus. Well, War... Or, uh... Yeah, Trectus. Donkey Punch is going to go down. Gets, don gets silenced. Arthur Dane's also... Nope. Gets out. Their Wisp Radiant's survives. Is under attack. Nearly a full team fight. They're going to push through mid, take out either the towers or take the bottom racks and call it a game. There is no buyback eligible um, on the Radiant side. So. No, nope, they already used it. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. What? Oh, apparently, I can't. I thought Sven just used his buyback. Oh, he's silenced. He's stunned. They get a pickup on Trek 2. So he's going to run away. And that right click. He's a, he's a sheep. He's dead. He's dead. Yep. It's a shame to watch. So that's going to be it for game number three. O3 is able to pull it out. What games? These two teams incredibly well matched. Two different styles of play. Three incredible games. So there you have it. O3 is going to move on to the semifinals of the RD2L Season 2 playoffs, and they're going to be facing No Right Turn next week. Hopefully we'll be able to have it for you uh, starting probably on the weekend. So stay tuned, guys. This is uh, Have No Pity. And this is Island. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, guys. See you later.